front of me. Swinging a miss right here. Oh! <laughs> Yo, oh! Oh! Holy crap. Was not expecting <laughs> to see you guys here. Oh, I've been doing my best to surprise people with the camera. Yo, yo, yo! What is up, guys? And welcome back to another one. I hope that you can see me okay. I hope it isn't blown out. But got a very, very interesting, fun, hopefully it's going to be fun, video. Even if we don't shoot many, it'll still be fun, I guarantee it. Homemade Starling decoys. All right, so you guys loved the last Dairy Farm Starling hunt video. I mean, you guys loved it, and you're asking for more. And believe me, you ain't got to ask, because it's too much fun not to do. So me and Jordan, yet again, we're back here. Look at, look at old gal behind you over there. Just getting her a bite. So, where we sat up last time, a lot of you were like, man, you need to put up some decoys. And I'm like, well, what should I use? Like, my pigeon decoys? Oh, man, look at all them starlings. Look at that. That is insane. That's just one of the big groups here. They just infest everything. I don't like them. Yeah, they're really bad. They're very, very destructive. Not only with the cattle feed, but for a lot of other reasons as well. But one of you had the best comment I, I swear I've ever read in my life and one of you said, hey man, I've been hunting on a farm for starlings literally my whole childhood and what I do is take pop cans out there and put black socks over the top of them. So I was like, if that worked, and if it worked really well, that'd be the wittiest little idea in the world because I need socks anyways. Seriously though, I do need some socks. So I bought a 12 pack of socks. That means there's 24 black socks in one pack. Howdy. Oh, you wanna go this way? Yeah. So I also bought a 24 pack of Pepsi. Now the only thing I think we have to be worried about during today is hoping that the cans don't explode because of the heat and sun and with a black sock being over them, but other than that, we are back where we did the last one. I brought the panel blind today. We're gonna to be sitting on buckets behind a panel blind. Now, a lot of you have been requesting the air rifle videos, and believe me, I already told Jordan, I'm like, dude, I already picked out the air rifle I'm getting. We are doing that. I found a saucy little place down on, oh, easy, down on the little pond over here where they actually sit right on the beach to get a drink. And if me and Jordan lay prone right by that bad boy, put out some decoys, we can shoot them right in the water. But enough talking. We're going to get everything set up right up here. Right there. See that? That's where we were sitting, right behind that panel. And then see where, where all the cattle are sticking their heads out. Look at all the starlings in that feed. So that right there is what we're going to try to mimic with our pop can homemade starling decoy challenge today, y'all. So... We're going to scatter them out just like they are. We're not going to bunch them up on the concrete because they're not on the concrete. I mean, they're standing in the feed. We just got to worry about the cattle eating our sock. <laughs> they probably eat the sock off the top of the can, won't they? They'd probably mess with it at least. <laughs> all right, we're going to get set up. It's extra windy out, so I wanted to get all this out of the way and not try to explain everything in the wind. So, yeah. Well, we got her all set up. Check out our blind situation. Oh, yeah. Can't even see it. I was walking up here and I'm like, dang, that looks really good. But as you can tell, it's extremely, extremely windy. I hope you can hear me. So what we got here is we got our 24 pack of Pepsi. I'm gonna go ahead and crack that bad boy up. And uh, I'm just gonna place them in here, you know? Place them throughout all the cattle feed, like so. I know this is crazy, but if this works, it'll be the greatest thing I've ever done. And if you hear it loud, it's that thing up there. Yeah, like I said, it's blowing like 30, 35 mile an hour. Let me get these set up and we'll turn it back on. Alrighty, I'm trying to block the wind, but check that out, dude. That is our pop cans with socks. How realistic does that look? Now, we had to keep them away from the cattle as much as possible, so we stuck them where their heads just couldn't reach. This should be epic if it works. I mean, how real does that look? Oh, well, we're, oh, wow, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> so, surprise! Yeah, surprise! <laughs> so we are here, sorry, we're going nuts and these cattle are like, oh yeah, they're back. <laughs> we're here to help the cattle. We're here to keep these starlings out of them cattle's feed, man. So Jordan's already spraying and praying. We had to do some blind adjustments here. The wind's way too strong. It was blowing our blind everywhere. Freaking guns were flying everywhere. 
and we're gonna sit behind here and look at this. Sorry for the wind again, but doesn't that just look saucy? They should just cup up and come right into them decoys. Remember some prime decoys right oh, yeah. there. <laughs> Available at your local grocery stores, Walmarts, you know. I'm gonna shut up and start shooting here. There we go. A swing and a miss on both of us. Oh, here comes a bunch. Sorry for the wind again, guys. It's horrible. It's not the best day to be doing this, but you know me and Jordan. We got an opportunity to shoot bird. Oh, they're... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they're so fast. So the wind, guys, is going this way, obviously. So these birds, when they're coming at the decoys, they are cruising. We're out here fighting the blind again. Seriously, this wind is crazy. But if you're enjoying the video so far, I know I know we don't have a bird down yet, but if you're enjoying these, if you like the Starling videos, if you want more of the Starling videos, hit that thumbs up button right now. Got him. Oh, Boom, first one down. Him. He didn't he didn't even know what hit him right there. Go two pack. I'll get the front one. Maybe not. <laughs> Swing and a miss right here. <laughs> oh, dude, just caught it, dude. It bounced off. Look at my arm. <laughs> Swing and a miss right here. Oh! <laughs> Swing and a miss right here. Oh! <gasps> it bounced off of there, and I caught it like a. Like a freaking basketball. <laughs> That's the second time I've ever caught a bird. And it bounced out. I still haven't cut that clipper at 32 seconds. Right on. And Jordan picked it up after it fell off my head like a champion. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was epic. That was epic. That was epic. Jordan knew it right at the beginning too. He was like, you scrambled for the camera. <laughs> Well, just caught another bird. That was that was pretty epic. It wasn't near as as slick as the first duck catch. That wasn't planned, guys. I'm gonna cut the video and it's at 103. Okay, you called bank though. I mean. Yeah, called bank. <laughs> wow. Get him? No. Just wrecked him. I cannot believe I caught that bird. I had to pick up the big camera. Uh -huh. That was epic. If you guys like this video. You have to hit the like button. You, let's get this bad boy to over 2,000 likes quick. Come on now. Second bird I've ever caught. Unreal, man. There we go. Nice. He did. Like I said in the last video, he got the same Mossberg 500 410 pump that I got. Actually, he found them and he was like, hey, should, do you want one of these too? And I'm like, thanks for telling me. Yeah, I want one. But he started out with that. And just like the last video, there's a huge difference between the 12 gauge and the 410, especially yeah. with wind. The wind kills it. Oh, the wind's just done. Oh, yeah. Oh, He's like, man. There's a shooter. <laughs> <laughs> there's one. Oh, little double team action. Now you smacked him right off the get go. Good shooting, boys. Good shooting, boys. Oh, the sneak attack. He's coming around. Oh, where'd he go? Did you shoot? Yeah, I shot. Did we shoot? We pulled the trigger at the exact oh, you shot too. Yeah, <laughs> we pulled the trigger at the exact same time. No idea. Yeah, I, I didn't. No, I didn't miss. <laughs> no, I, I did. I didn't pull the trigger, Bobby. That was all you. Here we go. Two pack. You got the first one. Over the top. Nice shot. I missed. Well, six on the ground so far. This wind is not easy. I know I've said it like a dozen times, but you know. Oh, 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 he's winged. He's coming back around that way. Oh yeah, they're coming to the decoys hard. Oh, it's like they're locked up, but with the wind, they don't slow down very you fast. A modified choke for that shot. Yeah, that was definitely probably a modified choke deal, ordeal right there. <laughs> oh. Dude, shot him through that sucker. Dude, he just hovered. He swung in there and he was like, uh, boo. 
That boy is dead. Oh, down here on the wind, taking a little drink break here. Need to tell you guys something though. If, if you ever go starling shooting, make sure you know what you're shooting. Really look at a lot of pictures on Google of the birds. Make sure you know what they look like because they feed and travel and fly a bunch with blackbirds and blackbirds are protected. So just know what you're shooting at before you squeeze the trigger. And tip of the day, just like with the 410 versus 12 gauge on a windy day, if you're duck hunting, dove hunting, any type of wing shooting, if it's windy, get you a heavy shell. A lot of you guys ask me what type of ammo I prefer on these type of days or on these type of days, but if it's windy, go with a stout shell. I don't know if the decoys are working or not. I think they're getting the birds' attention, all the birds that are sitting on the high line over on the road, and they're, they're coming to them. Now, they're not landing in them. We had one land before we started shooting. Right here. Oh, get him. Oh, he was almost too close. <laughs> so, the thing is, I think it's getting their attention from far away and they're drifting to it. Now the wind, man, we're having to stand up. Not only is the wind bad, but we're having to stand up and shoot because as you can see, I'm sitting down right now, so there's no way that I can shoot above that. So you gotta stand up. Like, look right there. There's two there. Right here. Oh, right above you. Ah! We can knock them both down. Nope. This might get... Where are they at? Oh, right, 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 right. oh my god. I don't want to shoot right there. That's the building. That's the... I mean... It's damn. Fine. Nice shot. Man, we could have dusted them oh. three. <laughs> I'm just scared because the cattle are right over there, you know? Oh, <laughs> wow. He came in hot. Oh yeah. Nice shot with the 410, baby, standing on the bucket. Woo! Nice shot. That was nice. It's windy for that old 410, man. <laughs> Dude, right when I, right here too, coming over top. He did. Oh, he's low. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, got him on the second shooter. Boom, he down. Make me do a back. Yeah, you were aiming forever. <laughs> that was hilarious. I didn't think I was going to get him. We got some storms moving in. If you can see all this, the wind is picking up out of the east and it probably cooled off. Probably cooled off. I don't know, probably a good 12, 15 degrees. Holy smokes, we just got picked up. Um, we had to shut her down, guys. I mean, we got this system rolling in, as you've seen earlier, and it's bringing a lot of east wind. The, the wind switched from the south and straight out of the east, and it's blowing just cats and dogs out here. The GoPro, I'm hoping that the audio wasn't completely just trash this whole deal. But I think as far as the decoy spread actually working, what's your thoughts? What's your theories on it? I'd say it worked probably at least half the time. I mean, they did come into it. We did have, what, seven, eight birds probably try and land in it? Yeah, they probably tried to land. Like that. A lot of those birds we couldn't even shoot because yeah, they, <laughs> they came in too quick. I mean, it did what we wanted. They brought them to us. So, yeah. I mean, I'd say it worked. Was it the most effective thing? Brian, who knows? Uh -oh. I mean, what is effective on starlings? I mean, did, <laughs> just comment down below. Is, is there something that we're missing? And was it just not the right day and wind? I mean, do you guys land them in the? De do you guys land them a lot in the decoys? Now, I know one thing. I know you guys are going to say this a lot, and believe me, I am investing in one, and that is an air. We call them air powered. Pellet gun? Either air rifle or, or pellet gun. Or is the PCP, the pressurized pneumatic, yeah, whatever that stands for. Basically an air rifle gun. I found one. I'm going to buy one of them $200 gamo ones. If there's one better for the price rather than the $200 gamo one from Walmart, drop it down below. Shoot me a link down there and be like, no, Bobby, you need to check out this one. But other than that, I think the uh, pop can decoys, I think it got their attention. Because this power line right here, that's where they kind of like to just loaf around and check stuff out. And all in all, I do know that the pop cans were heavy enough not to get blown away. <laughs> that was the only thing. <laughs> that's probably the best <laughs> thing about the decoys today, y'all. 
But what we're out here to do is protect the cattle, their feed, their, I mean, just their livelihood. They depend on us as human beings to keep them healthy and keep them fed. What we're out here to do is just help out, get rid of these nuisance birds. I'm telling you, they destroy this place. If you guys want to see us come back out with air rifle guns and film that bad boy, I have a really good idea for a video. So if you guys want to see that video, you got to let me know down below. They're going to want to see that video. I want to see it. I want to do the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I want to do this. Yeah, we... But anyways, if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button for your boy. And if you haven't checked out the Ducks Pro Staff gear, this one's so old, I think we got some new ones out there. So I will link all the Ducks gear down below. Go pick something up. Whenever you do, it goes directly to the channel and help me bring you more of these videos. I hope you guys are liking the farm videos. Thank you again to Jordan for bringing us out on the farm and showing us around and letting us shoot guns out here. Oh, actually, wow. actually, it's your best buddy that lets us come out farm, here. But yeah. <laughs> But neither here or there. Thank you guys for being here. We will see you on the next one. Peace.